In my last week of mindfulness, I thought about the theme of faith. And when a lot of people think of faith, they think of religion, God, Christianity, Allah, that kind of stuff. But in my case, faith is more about trust. It's more about believing yourself completely and wholeheartedly and believing that things will end up working out in the end. So in my week of faith, I thought about how you know, a lot of the times we can plan for things. We can you know, work hard toward a specific goal, but no matter how hard we work, no matter how much we plan sometimes, things won't always go our way. So in college, I practiced psychology. I studied, I did some research work in psychology, and you know, the more I studied, the more I learned about counseling and therapy, the more I realized that it wasn't for me. And so I felt stuck after graduating. What am I going to do with this psychology degree that I'm not even going to use? And, you know, I felt like I failed. So to buy myself time to kind of think about what I really wanted to do in life, I ended up enlisting for the military. I wanted to join the Navy. And so I went to MEPS. I did the ASVAB test. I got my health check and everything went great. But my eyes, my eyes weren't good enough for the military standard. My eyes are terrible, I'm wearing contacts right now, and you know the doctors there said, sorry son, uh, your eyes aren't good enough, uh, good luck in the future. And so, again, I faced failure, and I thought, you know, despite all the hard work and effort that I put into you know, studying, despite me really wanting to kind of serve my country and just you know, find purpose in my life, uh, I failed. So I ended up, getting a job at a physician's office and so during that time I was kind of stuck. I felt really down in the dumps. I felt like I wasn't, you know, worthwhile. I felt like I was complete and utter dog shit because I just couldn't, you know, find any purpose in life. I just didn't see any sort of meaning in anything. And I ended up applying for uh, Eon, which is a Japanese sort of English teaching company in Japan. And I did the interview, I talked to the coordinators, the HR people, I did an orientation, and eventually they told me, you know, thank you for your application, but sorry, you're not what we're looking for. And, you know, it's hard to focus on the positives when you're kind of in that sort of situation, when you're feeling worthless, when you've tried so hard, but, you know, only got so far. In the end, it doesn't even matter sometimes, but, I kept trying, I picked myself back up, I did it again, and eventually I got hired at ECC, where I work now. In hindsight, I actually dodged a bullet with Eon. When I looked more at you know, experiences from other teachers about their living wages, that kind of stuff, I realized that you know, it wasn't as good as I thought it would have been, and that by trying again and applying with my current company, that I'm in a much, much better place than I would have been. And so for that, I'm super thankful. I never could have predicted it, but it happened and I'm better off because of it. And so part of faith is just learning to trust and believe that things will eventually work out for the best, even if you don't see it coming. It's just a matter of trying, trying, and trying again. Of course, if you just give up, then things probably won't go your way. You have to put in that positive sort of effort. You have to be proactive to get that sort of positive result back. And you know, the same is true with anything in life. We will fail at many things, but if we keep pursuing, if we keep trying and learning from our past experiences, we will get better and we will succeed. And the reason why I really believe in this sort of thing is because the day before I moved to Japan, I was walking down a road and there's a crow that flew over my head and I'm like what that's crazy but this crow flew over one more time two more times three more times and it perched up on a tree right behind the crow was a sun halo if you don't know what a sun halo is a sun halo is when you see the sun in the sky and around it is a rainbow in a full circle I've never seen anything like that before. And so when I saw it, I was like, whoa, this is really crazy. It's almost as if the crow 
led me to seeing the sun halo. So when I got home that night, I looked it up, and it turns out the Native Americans have something called the Rainbow Warrior Prophecy. And in this prophecy, the sun halo represents peace, prosperity, and tranquility in the future. This was the day before I moved to Japan, and I thought, okay, this is interesting. And ever since, my life has been a lot better as a result. You know, my, I'm in the best health and shape that I've ever been. I've gained a lot of skills and developed myself in a lot of ways since moving to Japan. And I live very comfortably and have a job that's very supportive and helps me get what I need done in life. So, you know, I never would have expected this had I not failed and tried again. I think because of that failure, I'm much more appreciative of what I do have because I know that I had to work really hard to get to where I am today. Last week, I mentioned how I applied for a university job and I got it. So, you know, next week I'll be starting a new chapter in my life and I just believe, I have full faith that things will end up working themselves out in the end. If you want to follow me along this journey, you know, hit that subscribe button. If you like the video, like the video. If you dislike the video, dislike the video. Let me know what your mindfulness journey has been. You know, if you did a week of courage, how was your week of courage? How was your week of success? How was your week of regret? I really want to know. Leave your thoughts down in the comments below. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.